Joining me now for more analysis is Vince Colonnese, Editorial Director at The Daily Caller and host of Mornings on the Mall on WMAL Radio. Vince, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Lauren. President Trump said he can make this change by mm -hmm. executive order. Is this something we're likely to see or likely to see without legal challenges? Well, he says that it will happen and it will happen by executive order, which means that we're probably headed for a test in the courts and ultimately potentially in the Supreme Court. What's different about this case is that the illegal immigration and the idea that an illegal immigrant's child could become a citizen of the United States by birthright, that question's never been tested in the Supreme Court. The question of legal immigrants having children in the U.S. becoming citizens, that was tested in 1898. So he could be the president that introduces this topic to the court and forces them to come up with a decision on it. Vice President Pence responded to critics of the proposal today, dismissing the notion that this is another attempt uh, to rally Republican support ahead of next week's midterms. What do you make of the timing? Well, it's clear, thanks to what we have data from the Border Patrol, that last month was a record for the number of families who were actually illegally crossing the border. So there's a lot of focus paid on the caravan and the size of it, but the truth is thousands of people are crossing into our country illegally every month with or without caravans of any specific size. So illegal immigration, clearly an issue. The idea here, though, for, for the vice president and for the president of the United States is that tackling this issue now Look, voters deserve a chance to ratify whether or not they want this administration to continue its policy at pace. It's totally reasonable for them to vote on that subject when they go to the polls election day. I'd like to turn to the synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh. What are your thoughts on the president's visit there today? As some say, he was exploiting tragedy for political gain. Uh, there's a group of Jewish leaders who other people have also said are doing the exact same thing by urging him not to come. Is our country so politically divided that anything the president does is, is going to be bad? Well, unquestionably, I mean, in, in the sense that President Trump has a unique ability to provoke hysteria in his critics, no matter what tenor he takes. In this particular case, and we saw it last week as well with these package bombs being sent around the country, the president chose a, to rise to the occasion and to have a tone of unity, condemning these attacks and saying we need to be unified as Americans. His critics should temper their criticism in the face of him doing the very thing that they call him to do, which is to be a unifier. And here he is attempting to do it, and they're attacking him for it anyway. They should be careful, careful not to be divisive in the wake of all of this when the obvious call is to unify. Vince Colonnese, editorial director at The Daily Caller, host of Mornings on the Mall on WMAL Radio. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you.